so here, diagnosing about a 2018 Peterbilt here. And we're going to go ahead and check out the codes that it has here. It says DPF soot temperature. So what I like to see is how many times did it occur. So count four times. Um, so here I go ahead and I can see the freeze frame. And it'll, this is just learning information in terms of the code and when it first and when it last and the units of measurement here. So this helps you um, be able to kind of get an idea of when this code is happening. Um, so then let me look at here how many times this one occurred. And this one here occurred two times. So I'm gonna need to get an eight millimeter wrench for the back part. So as you can see the ratchet isn't gonna fit. I'm gonna take these plugs out as well. Just two bolts being held on. Once you get those two off, then this will be able to come out. Be careful of this one. I usually use a flathead to lift this one up. So I'm going to be going to go get the new part and um, what I like to do is to clean out the threading on here and uh, make sure everything's nice and clean so when it goes back in it won't be so hard to take out and here just just and also just following the troubleshooting steps is always the I'll show what it showed on the troubleshooting steps but um, it's an easy job not that hard um, I'm going to do a region after this. So um, what I'll be doing with region after I put it in just to make sure everything's working fine and there is no troubles. So yeah, so these are the codes and I'm going to end up clearing them and um, putting it in, in a region. So yeah. And then put it back in. And then we're gonna make sure I keep it the cord so they don't uh, rub or rub on anything. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead here and plug it in. I'm gonna try and achieve this. Make sure those little notches are in, and once they're in, you just push down on that. Put that right goes in, and then you have your two bolts attached to the first one. Put that bit started there. And then that last one where you have to use the wrench to kind of walk it through because the socket and the ratchet isn't fitting. I need to get a ratchet wrench in this eight millimeter size. All right, so it's all on, tight and secure. Everything's good. Make sure you zip tie to where it's not chafing, rubbing again. Um, and then I'm gonna put this cover back on. Your assembly may be a little bit different this is on a dump truck, so let me not forget that because I tend to leave that 
But all right. I reconnected this and the codes went inactive when I reconnected it. I didn't have to clear it. So, I'm going to put it on by the So if you guys have anything that you guys want me to put on there as well, I want some feedback. Let me know anything feedback-wise, what you guys think, or any kind of ways I can improve the channel. I think you guys...